All right, you guys, we're back, Jill, if you're there. Uh, okay, so it's like, it's pretty much already better. Oh, it's absolutely awful. I told you, gave Mama a terrible scare. So I've just got my phones, and it's only a little puppy. And so that's kind of big, but it's not that heavy. I do have one dumbbell. Maybe you should use a dumbbell. And then the keys. I'm not going to use this thing. And then the uh, glasses, so put them around in the different places. The usual locations. All right, so that's kind of up against the edge. Put this under here. I guess that's what happens. People's phones fall. This here. Put the keys. <laughs> in there because it's white. And then put the other keys in there. And this one I won't use because those are better. And put the glasses right there. Oh, I can't wait till my pirate ship gets here. I have a few more hiding places. And you guys that know me understand that me getting this pirate ship. Hi, Jill. Me getting this pirate ship is going to lead to me getting a Fill in the God knows what until pretty soon people are logging on and saying, what is this place? Uh, the Wizard of Oz in living color? Kind of. Kind of. All right, let me go get him. With my poorly hidden objects. So I do have my basket, and I think you need to start as quick as possible. If you said I'm not using a basket in the drill, I would say start because... It doesn't always have to be there, but it's going to help them. It's just going to be a good precursor. Okay, hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, so he's kind of jumping around, but I'm just not having any reaction. Oh, oh you better be careful. <laughs> oh, Mommy just, oh, he gave Mama a terrible fright. He does understand a sequence, though. If he sees me not giving it to him right away, he will go start looking for something else. <laughs> you little find a maniac. he drops it, I just do the, and that might be what you need to do too, Nate. 
And the reason he's not looking in there, he doesn't trust me because he thinks he looked and he already got something out of there. My job is to be a good actress. Oh, you little monkey. Okay, so be careful. Your leg. Oh, I was going to call Jill and say he's 25% off. I was going to text you in the middle of the night. Oh, 25% off. Oh, because he only has three legs now. All right, so her dumbbell is right there. And it won't, shouldn't be too hard to look right there. I'm not fast, but I'm fumbling. Okay, so I got the shoe is way over there. Oops. He heard him fall. He heard him fall. Oh, my gosh. Mommy can't operate the bag today. Okay. I am going to tell you guys, remember how I said I didn't like that natural balance roll? Well, it's not all about me. They love it. You can see that behavior makes him start looking around. You're jockeying around. You're j <laughs> Listen, little Mr. Leg, I told you to be careful. It's not as important to be fast in the beginning, but be fumbly like you're trying. All right, I'm looking dead at the house. He's a very, very special dog. I, yeah, it's crazy. No, Jill, I know how. I know you know how I felt. It's like if something happens to Jackson, but not as bad. But you know how terrible that feeling is. I couldn't even sleep. I actually had a dream about his little bad leg. First, I couldn't sleep. I was tossing and turning. I said, oh, my God, i got to get some sleep. Then when I went to sleep, and then the dream, his little leg was fine. I'm sure he's not allowed near the sisters anymore. Hello, Timothy. Anyway, this puppy is, what you guys have to understand is all of this, this dog is acting in free will. If you said, we're basing that on us, I'm not telling it to do anything. I'm not telling it to do anything. And that's where you've got to be if you're training dogs, because if you're really, really training them, what you're going to do, what you're doing is going to result in that behavior existing in the dog. Not just, I can tell it to do this or that. That behavior will be a part of the dog. That's, that's what really trained is. Not just, oh, it obeys commands. You know, my, my question to people that say that, but what is the, you know, what is going on in between? If you're commanding this thing all day, every day, it's how many times you have to tell it. Yeah, I, at some point, it's resulting in default. All right, so he does, he will carry. If I said now, you, if you said install a hold, even though I've got, a, he's better at holding than that bulldog. All I've got to do is, he's actually bringing it right to me. He's scary good. He's scary good. Oh yeah, that was awful. That was the worst way to wake up on a Monday. I said, what have your sisters done to you? Oh, that's how they are. He left for one day and they just, well, they didn't welcome him back. Poor little guy. Uh, so now he has to just be in a crate. It's still a little bit sore. Poor guy. What an amazing puppy though. All right, I'm gonna put him up and I will be right back with, I'm gonna do the other two real quick, but you know, that needs to be the most interesting part of this to these people, to anybody that's watching is the dog is doing it all on its own. It's not being told to do anything. If you said, well, it's implied, well, I would say then explain the process. I think that's what people need to say. If they're, I'm not sure a lot of it is, I'm not sure I'm, I'm, I don't have collective consciousness in this colony now. I, if, you, if you're there, Mike, can you look up if there's any uh, cases, uh, documented cases of collective consciousness in dog colonies? All right, guys, I'll be right back.